Judo is a potent martial art that shines in self-defense scenarios. Despite its absence of strikes and kicks, it's no less effective and in fact offers more distinct advantages than other martial arts. While Judo might not enjoy the same popularity as karate, kung fu, taekwondo, at least in America, and boast the numerous benefits that hold prestigious status in the Olympic sports, in today's unpredictable world, personal safety is paramount. The streets can be unsafe and preparedness for self-defense is essential, making judo an ideal choice. In real life situations, judo equips individuals with skills to halt attackers and create an opportunity for escapes. It fosters self-protection, confidence, and a profound understanding of body mechanics. One of judo's greatest strengths is its inclusivity. It welcomes people of all ages, genders, physical abilities, makes it accessible to everyone interested in self-defense. Historical background of Judo, also known as the Kodokan Judo, traces its origin to Kano, who founded it in 1882. Kano, a young man with a frail physique, initially turned to Jiu-Jitsu for physical conditioning. He meticulously studied various classical jiu-jitsu styles such as Tenji Shodoshan and Kido Ru and studied the core teachings to create judo which translates to the gentle way. Judo's philosophy revolves around maximizing efficiency and fostering mutual benefits and welfare. Judo has distinguished itself in emphasis by controlling over brute force. Renowned for dazzling throws, grappling, and ground techniques, it is practiced from a standing position. This focuses on throws is particularly advantageous to self-defense scenarios where many conflicts end up on the ground. Once an opponent is grounded, judo practitioners can enjoy joint locks, strangles, chokes, arm locks, and neutralizing threat. Judo is very versatile, and even though that it has an absence of strikes and kicks, especially in the sport of judo, it doesn't preclude it as being one of the best in self-defense. When an attacker is on the ground, especially after they throw them down, a judo practitioner can employ a punch if they need to, especially to facilitate an attack. While judo may poise, challenging situations like multiple attackers a little less effectively, it does offer the ability to execute judo throws on each assailant as they per, as they approach. Some of my favorite throws include Oso to Gary, as well as Uchimata and Ipan Sienagi, which are really good for not only gi, but also no gi type throws. In self-defense, the emphasis lies not in the type of throw, but in executing it swiftly and effectively, ensuring that your opponent remains incapacitated. Trust me, if you do an Oso to Gary on the concrete, that guy is not getting up if you do it right. Judo's effectiveness in self-defense stems from its capacity to redirect in it attacker's energy, enabling individuals to subdue larger opponents with minimal energy and expenditure. Remember, Kano was a really small guy and was able to effectively take these people down with not much energy. Judo combines a physical fitness, self-defense skills, and discipline, making it a practical choice for self-defense. It excels at close range, hand-to-hand -hand combat, which often characterizes real-world attackers. Judo's suitability for an average person, along with its ability to render opponent helpless without causing harm, makes it an attractive option. Judo uniquely prepares individuals for ground combat, a critical aspect often overlooked in many other art martial arts. Whether standing or grounded, Judo equips practitioners to defend themselves effectively. Beyond self-defense, Judo instills values such as respect, discipline, and perseverance. It encourages personal growth and contributes to the betterment of society, at least in my opinion. In confrontational situations where kicks and punches might not be warranted, Judo's potent throws offer a pragmatic solution. It serves as both an end and a means promoting higher society and community objectives. Like, you know, if you're at a family gathering and your uncle's just a little too drunk, well, maybe you don't want to actually hurt him and just like get him down to the ground and subdue him for a little while. It's a little bit more pragmatic. Embracing judo as both an art and a sport is a compelling choice for those seeking effective self-defense. Your physical safety, energy conservation, and potential to overpower and disarm assailants make it a wise pursuit.